breaking right now. Chuck Schumer is heading back to the Capitol, uh, and it's expected that he's going to speak. Is he speaking? Can we join that right now? He just finished speaking, so we'll get a readout on that for you. Uh, of course, President Trump and Senator Chuck Schumer were meeting earlier uh, to come up with some kind of solution there for this shutdown that is now looking like it might just be imminent. Uh, let's get right now the very first comments from inside the White House joining me with all the details, we hope, White House Deputy Press Secretary Hogan Gidley. Hogan, good to see you. It's great to see you, Trish. Thanks for having me on. So are we any closer to uh, averting a shutdown? I'm not sure. Uh, for whatever reason, it seems like the Democrats are hell-bent on playing politics with people's lives. Uh, they are insisting upon attaching uh, non-budget items to a budget. Uh, this is not what they promised they would do years ago. We call it the Schumer Rule. He was very adamant and actually equated what the Republicans were doing to hold up his budget to holding a gun to someone's head. He mm -hmm. calls it the politics of idi idiocy to try and hold up the budget and attach things to the budget. But for whatever reason, he's decided to do it. And not to mention, I have a quote here from Dianne Feinstein, who actually said, shutting down the government is a very serious thing because people die. And then they asked her, would you vote for this continuing resolution we're talking about today? Mm -hmm. And she said, I don't know. So you admit people are going to die if you don't vote for it and then say you're not sure whether you're going to vote for it. It's absolutely uh, ridiculous. But in terms of that meeting with the president and Chuck Schumer, was there any progress or was it just similar to what we've all heard before? Uh, well, look, I, I don't want to get too too deep into what they discussed uh, and I wasn't privy to the meeting. I wasn't in there. I'm out here getting ready to talk to you guys. But the president has been very clear what he wants. Mm -hmm. He actually wants a two year clean budget bill. Democrats refused to do that. The president decided to negotiate, and we're pushing it back for three weeks, a, a, a continuing resolution that absolutely funds the military. We have to do that. We cannot put uh, the people's lives at risk in this country. We have to fund the very people that lay down their lives to protect us every day. For whatever reason, the Democrats don't want to fund that. And then you look at 8.9 million children American children impoverished in this country who get health care from the CHIP program, mm -hmm. Democrats don't want to fund that either. I can't believe they're not for this bill. You know, it's, um, it, well, polit politics, right? I mean, Hogan, this is, this is the, the, the frustration everyone has with Washington because they may be calculating that this is politically smart for them. They're hoping you all get tainted with the shutdown. You all get blamed. And they can walk away saying, well, we did what we could for the dreamers. Right. They haven't done it. And they're trying to bring that, that segment of the voting population uh, over to their side. And this may help them do that. Well, I, d I don't think so, because, look, uh, th th they, they've offered nothing in this. I mean, the president was very clear. America got to see inside a 55-minute long meeting, bicameral, bipartisan. We came out of that with four clear things to, to, to protect national security. It was border security, first and foremost, with a wall. We talked about ending chain migration, ending the visa lottery system, and absolutely finding a lasting solution to DACA. Mm -hmm. The president outlined that last year. And for whatever re reason, Congress hasn't acted. Democrats don't want to come to the table to discuss it, which you just pointed it out, and I think it's very obvious. That must mean it's only about playing politics with people's lives because they have no solution. There is no bill they've proffered as a counter bill to ours. We've heard reports. You've heard them on your show. The Democrats are fine with CHIP. They like that. They also like keeping the government open. Everything in our continuing resolution, they're for, but they're still against it. It makes zero sense. Wow. So what are the odds right now? Are we, you know, as of midnight tonight, probably looking at a shutdown? <laughs> After the doom and gloom, I'm going to spin into positive for a moment. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're going to leave me with something. Okay, <laughs> I got go to leave, leave you on a high note, Trish. Look, the president's very optimistic, okay? He, he wants people to come in. He wants to get a deal done. We're coming up on this shutdown. The American people deserve the government to stay open so that they can be protected. These children deserve health care. And the people out fighting wildfires right now are still going to have to fight wildfires, but they won't get paid. No, people are still going to be on the I front like lines, that. but they won't get paid. You know. That has to be fixed, and I think the president can yeah. do it. And these are people that are, you know, not like some of the Wall Street private equity fat cats that we've talked about on this show. A these are absolutely. people that, are, that need that weekly paycheck to meet. Absolutely. To, 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 to have ends meet. So, Hogan, uh, we're with you. We hope you guys uh, get it done. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I do want to point out, by the way, Hogan, you, for you and also to our viewers, we uh, went through everything Chuck Schumer had to say, and it's, I guess, same old, same old. So they uh, remain in a state where uh, there's no agreement.